Basketball means everything to me. It's the reason I get up in the morning. It's the reason I go to sleep at night. There are a couple important days in your life when you're born and when you, you know, you find out why you were born. Garza again. Oh, beautiful move against Castleton. Basketball was why I was born. Boom. Good catch. Boom. Four six. Good splash. Splash. When did I know Luca was good? Well, good catch. First off, you have to have conviction and love for what you do. And if that's the case, everything's going to go well. Step. Good. I like it between the legs. Boom. I just love every aspect of the game. You know, a lot of people don't like the working hard and the workouts and all that stuff, but that's, you know, that might be my favorite part. Going to the gym as many times, you know, working harder than everybody else and just having that chip on your shoulder. Um, you know that whoever you line up against, they didn't put in the work that you did. My dad and my mom taught me at a young age what you know work ethic is. Luca, as soon as he started walking, he had basketball in his hand. I played basketball, my husband played basketball, my, I have a twin sister that played basketball, my brother-in-law played basketball. It was something that I loved, so I think he gets that from me. Garza, he's a coach's dream. He just keeps playing. The drive, he, he's got it from both of us, from you know my husband and me, to get better and to improve. And, and I mean, it's just being part of that uh, you know competitive world that you're not going to get somewhere without you know putting the time in. Every summer I go back home, it's when I start working out with my dad again. Go middle. I always come to my dad when I have problems or when I want to you know, improve something in my game. Summer was just a huge focus on, on my three-point shot. Uh, I'd always had it through high school, and I've always been really comfortable with it. Now Garza again for three, and that one goes as well. It's just not fair. Luka Garza is so good in the post. Now he's pulling back from the three with no hesitation. Kiss, a kiss. Lift that leg. Here we go. Come into me. OK, boom. Kiss it, kiss it. All right. The goal for working out with Luka is simply as a father helping his child want to achieve his dreams by investing in himself. Putting the time in to get ahead works in any area of your life, but it was a great chance for me to teach it through the modality of sports, particularly basketball. to deal with one of the most serious injury I'd ever dealt with. I had a bump on my stomach. It never hurt, never had any pain. And finally in, in August, I started feeling, you know, those, those pains in my abdomen area. And then that's when I went, you know, I went back home and, and I had it, you know, checked out. I, I talked to the training staff and, you know, and, and my dad helped as well. Um, just, you know, making sure we did all types of tests and they found a uh, cyst. A cyst had grown on top of his spleen. There was some trauma that, for whatever reason, there ended up a cyst formed and then fluid filled in. So he had been, to the point up until August 2018, it had grown to the point where it was eight centimeters radius, so it was literally larger than a basketball. The risk of the surgery was that I, I could rupture my cyst, which would cause them to have to open up me more, um, open up from here. and. Um, have to remove my spleen as well. If I didn't have the surgery, continue to play on that. Getting hit in that area could definitely cause even uh, life-threatening um, you know, results. Eight, nine hours that you have to be in a surgery, you don't know exactly how things are gonna turn out. Unbelievably, they took out a gallon of liquid. The cyst was 10 pounds, and his recovery was amazing. That's it, baby. All right, get up there! Get up there, get up there! Boom, 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 get up! All of this adversity that I had to go through, I think it just helped me become a better person.
I feel you know blessed to you know be standing and being able to be walking and to be healthy now and to get out there with my teammates. I was a late bloomer throughout high school. Up until you know my junior year summer, I had had a couple offers before them, mid majors, low majors, and I didn't know if I could really play at the you know at the level that I'm playing right now. When I got through my first couple weeks of practice, his junior year here at Murray, I knew, yeah, it's just no brainer. He was going to be a high major player, first to the gym, last to leave. We've all heard those types of people before, but that's who he was. I called my dad. I said, Dad, you got to see this kid. He's pretty good. My dad, Charles G. Lefty Drizel. Maryland is a great school. I was there for 19 years, 17 as a coach. Murray, they were playing this team from Philadelphia when Luca was a junior. He had 30 points and 10, 15 rebounds and hit about five or six threes. So after the game, I came up to him and I said, Luca, where do you want to go to college, son? He's on the phone to Mike Krzyzewski and Mark Turgeon and a number of other people that, that he still keeps in contact with and said, you got you to look at this kid. You got to recruit this kid. He doesn't tell them you got to take a look and make a decision. He's telling them, you need to sign this young man. A lot of them said, ah, oh, he's too slow, and this and that, and, and I said, look, the man's 6'9", he can shoot three, he can score inside on anybody. I tell him that, no, oh, no, he, he, he's not really what we're looking for. I said, well, go ahead, don't take him in, somebody will, and he ends up at Iowa. It was a blessing to have a coach of that notoriety, a Hall of Famer, even speaking to me, but to care so much that he just really wanted to consult me on where I'd go to college. It makes me feel good because I spotted him. <laughs> and my son coached him for a couple of years. Right now, he's the best post-up big man in America. I mean, he's got all kind of moves, hook shots up and under, goes underneath the basket, turn around, jumper. Now, if he pulled that and made about four or five threes a game, <laughs> he'd be all world. But Chuck said, just leave him alone. Let Fran tell him what to do. <laughs> and I, I agree with him. That's what I should do.